web developers, we have a lot of technologies to contend with. We're using various combinations of HTML and templates, style sheets and preprocessors, JavaScript and frameworks, build tools such as bundlers and minifiers, web servers, languages and runtimes, SQL and NoSQL databases, services for caching, message queues and analytics, and source control systems such as Git. Now managing all those components is a challenge. How many hours do you spend installing, configuring, updating and managing software dependencies on your development PC? Let's presume you've created an amazing web application. It's become so successful you've had to hire another developer just so you've got time to rake in all that money. They turn up at work on day one, clone your repository, launch the code and bang, it fails with some obscure error message. Now debugging will help, but your environments aren't the same. You use a Mac, they use Windows. You develop the app using Node.js 10 and they have version 14 installed. You use Mongo 3.6, they're on 4.2, and the differences mount up. You can solve all those issues in a few hours, but can you keep every dependency synchronized forever? Is that practical as your team grows and the number of devices increase? And are your dependencies even available on all development OSs? To get around this, some companies implement lockdown device policies where you're prevented from using the latest software and tools. But you really don't need to do that. One solution is to use a virtual machine or a VM. Now a VM allows an operating system to be installed in an emulated hardware environment. Effectively, you're running a PC inside your PC. VMs are controlled by software called hypervisors and popular options include VMware and VirtualBox. So you could install a hypervisor, then create a virtual machine, install Linux on it, and then install your application and all its dependencies. That VM is just data, so it can be copied and run on any development PC. But unfortunately, these disk images are huge because they contain a full OS, and that makes them difficult to copy, and they need considerable computing resources. And once you've copied a VM to another machine, it could be updated automatically or by the developer, so it goes out of sync with others. Docker can solve all your dependency problems. Rather than installing dependencies on your development PC, you run them in a lightweight, isolated, VM-like environment known as a container. And it takes just a single command to download, configure and run whatever combination of services or platforms you require. And that environment can be copied to any development PC in minutes. And you can mount local files into these containers so you can develop and test code just as easily as before. Docker has many benefits during development. Your team can use the same Docker containers on Mac, Linux, or Windows. Installation, configuration, maintenance, and testing of applications become so much easier. Applications run in virtual environments isolated from your development PC. And that means you can run multiple versions of the same application or runtime at the same time on the same PC. There would be no problem, for example, running PHP 5.6, 7 and 7.4 at the same time. But you retain all the benefits of local development and can experiment without risk. You can also deploy the same Docker containers to production servers. That makes continuous integration and delivery processes simpler. Performance can be improved with scaling. It's possible to add more application containers to cope with increased demand. Services are more robust. If a container fails, Docker can restart it with zero downtime. And applications can be secured. Containers can be configured to communicate only with each other and not the outside world. So a MySQL database could be made available to a WordPress container without exposing itself to the host OS and beyond.